What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video, and I guess our voices have been heard, y'all. They finally allowed Cody to come out there and give us what we've been asking for this entire build up to WrestleMania this year. They finally allowed him to be aggressive, to show some anger, to talk his trash. To come back verbally against The Rock and Roman Reigns, but mostly towards The Rock. And I loved every second of this promo. If we're going to get this version of Cody, he needs to start wearing nothing but black all the time. Cody was out there and he meant business. This is what I'm, I wanted to make this video to talk about. Raw overall, I enjoyed it. A lot of promos and segments cooked tonight. I definitely think they heard the criticisms about The Rock being the only one to kind of get away with some of the stuff he says on the microphone and on social media. Well, today, well, tonight, they allowed them to get a little bit more edgier. They didn't bleep out anything Cody said. And it was fantastic. And even other people's promos with Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre and everybody else that had to talk tonight. They kind of, they let them be a little bit more free. And I appreciate that show. Shout out to the USA Network for not really putting too many constraints on what uh, Cody had to say tonight. But boy, oh boy, this was great. I enjoyed this. I, I man, this is what I wanted from Cody. So he had tweeted right before he was about to go out there he had tweeted i apologize for what i'm about to say now when he tweeted that i was like all right cody you can't be coming out here talking that that goody two-shoe stuff if you're saying you're apologizing for what you're about to say it gotta be some fire and honestly i wouldn't apologize for what i'm about to say i would have said what i'm about to say it's been on my mind for a while now i need to get some stuff off my chest i'm i'm frustrated i'm pissed that's what i would have said but nevertheless that's what he tweeted so we get the segment he came out there in the all black once again he needs to continue to come out there in all black because it seems like when people got the all black fit on they ain't got nothing to lose he came out there he basically addressed uh the the future segment between uh roman reigns and him they're gonna have a face-to-face -face segment i'm looking forward to that on smackdown very interesting uh, to see what Roman has to say because Roman's been kind of in the background of all of this and what I wanted from Cody in this promo is what I talked about earlier today him being the guy to start firing back and and start trying to build up some type of dissension between the rock and Roman some of the noticeable things he said in this promo he made it very clear that um rock likes to call himself the heel you know he's like a heel now the, the the best one of the best heels he even went after the rock's writer <laughs> uh the rock has a writer he went after him uh coining uh calling the rock uh the final boss and he he wanted to mention like oh he went down a list of some of the great heels in wwe or you know just in wrestling in general and he said rock you're not a heel yeah, yeah, you're not a you're not a heel, to be honest with you. No, no, I don't I don't see that. You're, you're pretty much an asshole. You know, he started off light. You're like, you're know, you're an asshole. You're not a heel. But then he wanted to talk about how Cody was making fun of him crying and being emotional or whatnot. So he said, Okay, you want to talk about crying? Let's talk about crying. If you coming at me for quote unquote crying and being emotional about my family. Let's talk about how you sat up there and cried to the board of directors when you saw things weren't going your way. When you saw the hashtag, we want Cody, and things weren't going in your direction originally, you went and cried to them to switch things up to make it seem as if you wanted to save WrestleMania. I was like, okay, now we're now we're cooking. Let's let's start pulling, pulling that veil back on what's real and what's a work. Let's go. I'm here now. So he also made mention that a lot of people on the board members, they they tend to, to kiss up to him. They kiss the Rock's ass. Like, yes, you can pull out the Gucci uh, vest again. Yes, you can do this. Yes, you can do that. You can say whatever you want to say. And I kind of like him 
kind of blending once again truth on what's a what's real and what's a work trying to blend those together because we've heard the reports that the rock gets a lot of leeway on what he can say compared to everyone else in the back and he uh also mentioned that you know this notion that the rock you know wwe needs the rock no wwe doesn't need the rock look at the house the house this house is already sold out it doesn't need the rock you know wwe doesn't need you the people in the back we don't need you you know that notion and i love because he started getting real passionate At the end of the day rock you just a little whiny bitch and i was like oh i'm like yeah then he brought up the moms he said you want to bring up moms let's do this fair play i talked about my mom in an interview last week you know talking to michael cole but if you want to bring up moms let's let's really dive into that i know your mother i was like yes i'm like thank you please bring this up i didn't know which way he was gonna go he's like i know your mother your mother's lovely she helped me uh chop kevin owens in a in a dark match he's breaking you know breaking that reality on on you know something truthful that may have happened you know so i would hope you would keep the same respect you know for my mother as i keep the same respect for yours but let's talk about my mom you sat up there and made it seem as if my mom's gonna be scared of you you're gonna whoop me and put blood on your weight belt and give it to my mom like my mom's gonna be trembling my mama don't give a damn my mama's not scared of nobody so you think my mom gonna be scared of you you out your mind i was like there we go that talk that talk for your mom too like i'm ain't worried about you rocky another point cody brought up which i was glad that he did he talked about the rock being essentially ring ready he's like i don't know you know what's gonna happen at uh this year's wrestlemania but rock are you really prepared are you really ready to do this because it's been a minute since you've had a true match a true match where it went the distance it's been a while and i don't know if you're ring ready are we gonna see the people's champ the the final boss or are we gonna see someone with uh lds little dick syndrome i was like okay now he is really cooking. I like that he's questioning, can The Rock go in the ring anymore? He basically was saying, you know, Rock, you talking all this big noise, big, big talk, but you you don't know if you can go in the ring like that anymore. So is this all big talk or is this all going to end up being nothing more than Lil Dick Syndrome? So I love that he did that. He got an LDS chant. I'm like, okay keep it going cody now you you really you now you're in your stride you're in that bag and i and i appreciate that and then cody decides to bring it home bring it all together he said at wrestlemania i don't think you're going to be the final boss no 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 at wrestlemania i think you're gonna be roman's side chick and that is what i liked because right there this is what i've been wanting I want him to continuously, I guess you can say, try to pit these guys against each other. Because at the end of the day, Roman sees himself at the top. But Roman considers himself as the final boss. And I like how he said, you're really just Roman side chick. Play that up. And I hope he continues that Friday. He needs to. Play that up. Start playing the field. Like, you you know, you're really going to read the rock consider himself the final boss if that's the case then technically the rock is your boss you work for the rock essentially do that play that up so paul Heyman comes out there and he wants to uh kind of offer a situation on behalf of the bloodline and on behalf of roman reigns a a kind of a offering of, of sorts he said on friday he will show up alone to SmackDown to have their one-on-one -on -one interaction as long as Cody shows up to SmackDown alone. And if he agrees to it, there'll be no Bloodline members. And that's his word. That's what he sent Paul Heyman to say. No one will show up. And Cody said, you know what? Okay, I agree. But it's one of those things where it's like, 
if I'm Cody, I still have Seth. I still have Jay on standby because you can never really trust the bloodline. It definitely sounds like a setup. It sounds like a setup. I'm going to come along if you come along. It sounds like a setup for sure. And throughout the show, Seth and uh, Jay was like, hey, I got your back if you need it. And I hope on camera, he's like, no, nah, I'm good. But I hope he sends him a text. Just come by just in case. Just in case. So I hope that's the case. But either way, this is what we've been needing from Cody. And I loved it. I loved every second of this because he started talking somewhat of what may be going on behind the scenes. And I love the fact that he wasn't smiling. He didn't. He wasn't out there just joyful. No, he, he was letting it be known that Rock, you've been talking all this noise, but you've been out here behind the scenes crying like a little bitch. You don't really know if you can even go like that in the ring. And if you can't, then all this was for nothing. You know, all this talk was for nothing. And you really Roman's side piece, bro. So what are we talking about? I like that. Keep that energy. For the rest of the WrestleMania season, this is the Cody I need. That's it. This was great. This was a great, great response. Finally, he looked like he belongs in that situation so what he says to roman that will solidify even more of his momentum character wise i need him to do the same thing to roman i need him to piss him off and the best way you can piss off roman is to make him feel like he's not that important so we'll see how this how this plays out comment down below let me know if you guys enjoyed this promo second segment from cody i know i did this is exactly what i wanted and they just need to continue this this is the cody we need but i appreciate all the love and support road to 50k and i'm seeing you on speed of youtube rest of the chapter of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see you on the next one peace